In the last few weeks, a significant turnaround has been seen in the Ukraine-Russia conflict, with Russian forces having to retreat from several places. Some of these pullbacks have not been done in an orderly manner, and this has resulted in Russian forces leaving behind a large cache of weapons. While all of these will be very useful for Ukraine, a particular one is possibly one of the most prized captures. The Ukrainian military got hold of the most modern Russian T-90M ProRiv-3 Breakthrough 3 tank in the Kharkiv region. The photos of the captured tank were published by the Ukrainian tank man on his Shawshank Redemption YouTube channel. The T-90M ProRiv tank fell into the Ukrainian forces without visible damage. Most likely, the tank was abandoned by the Russian military during a hasty retreat from the Kharkiv region. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the capture of the T-90M main battle tank in Ukraine is a disaster for Russia. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. For the first time, the involvement of Russian forces in the Kharkiv region with T-90M tanks became known in April. The first T-90M tank was destroyed by the Ukrainian forces on the 2nd of May, 2022, on the outskirts of the village of Staryisaltiv, Kharkiv region. While it was a great morale booster, since this made it clear that even the most modern Russian platforms could be taken out, a captured example of such an advanced system, unlike a destroyed one, has a much greater value since it can give a lot of insights. Importantly, the captured tank is also equipped with a stealth camouflage known as Nikitka, so it's a fully armed example and a prized catch. The Earl Vagonzavod designed T-90M is an upgraded version of the T-90 tank, first introduced in the 1990s as an offshoot of the T-72, featuring improvements in terms of protection, mobility, and firepower. As per reports, upgrades to the tank were made from the combat experience of the Russian armed forces gained in Syria. The Russian army tested it during the military exercise Zapad. 2017. The initial batch of production, T-90M tanks, were only issued to the 2nd Guards M.I. Kalinin Taman Motor Rifle Division of the 1st Guards Tank Army in the spring of 2020. So it's a pretty new machine. Estimates indicate that around 100 of these are currently in service in total. Since the much-hyped but still not serial-produced T-14 Armada main battle tanks are unavailable for combat duties, T-90 is currently the most potent Russian tank in service. Many technical advances have been incorporated in the T-90M. One, it has improved armor protection with Relict Built-in Explosive Reactive Armor ERA, in place of the previous Contact 5. Relict is designed to better protect against shape charges and significantly reduce the impact of the armor-piercing, fin-stabilized, discarded Sabot APFSDS rounds. 2. T-90 features net armor on the lower part of its turret and slat armor at its rear to improve its defenses against rocket-propelled grenades by disrupting the fusing of the warhead. 3. The tank also has a countermeasure system which triggers smoke grenade launchers that can help conceal the vehicle if it's being illuminated by a laser beam. This reduces the probability of being hit by enemy anti-tank guided weapons. Four. 
It's fitted with NBC, nuclear, biological, and chemical protection, and automatic fire suppression systems. The tank's interior is lined with spall liner to stop projectiles and small fragments and minimize the damage inside the vehicle in case of a hit by lethal armament which couldn't be completely stopped. 5. The T-90M features an improved 2A46M4 125mm smoothbore main gun, which has a longer range and is said to be 15-20% to more accurate than the standard 2A46M gun of the T-90. The gun can fire APFSDS, HE, and HE frag rounds. Plus the 9M119 reflex anti-tank guided missiles that have a range of 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles and can also engage low-flying helicopters. 6. The sensors and fire control systems have also been upgraded. The new Russian tank has a hunter-killer engagement capability. 7. Nikitka camouflage is thought to be able to increase the survivability of the tank to a great extent since it reduces the infrared, thermal, and radar signatures. The Russian army was supposed to be an unstoppable force before the beginning of the conflict, but more than 200 days of Ukrainian resistance has dented its reputation a great deal. The aura has greatly reduced. The capture of T-90M is not just a battlefield loss, but also has larger implications. Earlier, a Krasua-4, which is a mobile, ground-based electronic warfare or EW, platform was captured. The Telegraph reported that at that time, the seized unit will be examined by Western agencies, adding that it would likely be taken by road to the U.S. Air Force's Rammstein Air Base in Germany before being flown to the U.S. T-90M will most likely have a similar path. This means that the West will be able to evaluate the real capabilities of the system, learn a lot about the standard of technology being fielded in Russia, and develop countermeasures if required. This surely is a disaster for Russia. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.